Hello and welcome to English with Miss Sarah. This is Ryan. And I'm Sarah. So, Miss Sarah, have you decided to join us at the singing contest? Joe's argument was very persuading. Come on, join us. It will be fun. We will be creating a fantastic memory together. Exactly. Joe did convince me. I have been practicing singing these days, but still, I just don't have a voice like you guys. Who cares? It will be fun. Actually, Joel and I are also learning hip hop and jazz dance these days. We want to integrate it into our performance. It is my favorite type of dance. Anselmo and Kento can do it so well, and I love the music. Ooh, sounds exciting! Can you teach me some moves, right? Yes, yes, that's it. Five, six, seven, eight. One and two, two and. Miss Sarah, you are doing good. Keep it up. Oh my, it's not easy, and I'm definitely getting old. I'm not very good yet. I'm still finding my feet. You are still finding your feet. No wonder it seems you can't feel the beats of the music sometimes. Unfortunately, you can't dance if you don't know where your feet are. I do know where my feet are, Ryan. When I say I'm still finding my feet in English, it means you're becoming familiar with or becoming confident in a new situation. And in this context, the new situation is the dancing. So if I say I'm still finding my feet. It means I'm still reaching to a level of comfort in a new situation or experience, and that it has nothing to do with my feet. That is correct. And if you say you have found your feet, it means you have become comfortable, confident, or familiar with the situation or the experience. Let's have a look at some more examples, right? Number one, Miss Sarah is still new to dancing. Give her some time to find her feet. Number two. We have this orientation program that helps new employees find their feet in the organization. Number three, after a lot of struggle and hard work, she finally found her feet as an entrepreneur. So this idiom, finding your feet, has nothing to do with our actual feet. I found this phrase very peculiar. I know what you mean. This phrase has been around in various forms since ancient times, but the origin is still unknown. However, it is believed that it refers to newborn babies. Humans and animals trying to learn how to stand up and start to walk. I'm sure you can relate a bit more with that image, right? Ah, yes, I see. Newborn babies are shaky and they cannot find their balance when they first try to walk. That's right. We can use this idiom whenever we start to learn something new or start a new job to describe we are becoming more confident and comfortable in a new situation. Ryan, Ryan, check this out. I think I'm getting the hang of it now.、Uh, is this right? That's it, Miss Sarah. You have nailed it just now. It looks like you have found your feet. Oh, this is so exciting! Let me practice with you one more time. Five, six, seven, eight. Oh my, this is fun. One and two. Oops, sorry. Did I just step on your feet? Don't worry, I'm okay. One, two, three. Oops, sorry, I did it again. Are you okay, Ryan? Ouch, Miss Sarah. It looks like you are doing more than just finding your own feet. You keep finding my feet and stepping on them too. I'm really sorry. Oh. <laughs>